Nowadays, we're constantly bombarded with information from the internet, from Facebook to Google to Twitter. There's so much data coming at you, it can be hard to make sense of it all. Well, now one Israeli company has found a way to analyze the data around us in a way that we can finally comprehend. Joining us today in the studio is Amir Orad, the CEO of SciSense. Thanks Hello. so much for coming in. Hi there. So, to begin, can you explain to us what is big data? Sure. Big data is really lots of data. And the truth is, in the last two years alone, we produced, the world produced, 90% of all the information ever produced. Lots of information is produced from the internet, mobile phones, sensors, online traffic, etc. And we're bombarded this with data. Wow, okay, so, so what does your company do with this big data? So what we do is help businesses make sense from all of this information. And in SMB today, a small business has tons of information. Internet data, transaction data, public you know, publicity that we have, marketing, advertising, HR information, financial information, inventory, lots and lots of information. And there's more of it all the time. And we help businesses make sense in a simple way out of complex data. So can you put that in easier terms for us? Give us an example, a concrete example of how that would work. Let's say, I don't know, um, a clothing store that's looking sure. for more information. Real example, we have some large okay. retailers using us like Target and others. So a clothing store would I literally was thinking of Target, so this works out perfectly. Perfectly. Um, so they, for example, would have lots and lots of potential information to use. We know who you are when you come into the store, when you pay, they have your information. They know what inventory you're buying. We know when you do that. We know which people, how many are coming into the stores. We have sensors today in every store. And we're trying to make sense out of it. What to order, correlate some activities and behaviors to the weather, to what's happening in the news, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And they are unable to do it in a simple way today because of all of this information around them. Right. We make it very simple. So a business user, head of retail, a marketing person, a salesperson, can make sense out of all of this information. Now, but what about privacy and issues of privacy in terms of, you know, I, okay, maybe I may be searching for something on my phone, but I don't necessarily want these yeah. big companies to know that I'm searching for that given product. So data privacy is a big thing these days. Right. We're dealing with information already available to businesses. So eBay as a client, for example, has lots of information about you because you log into the website. You do surf within the eBay website and you let them see what you're doing. You buy stuff, you sell stuff. They look into all of that to try and make sense to predict what's your next behavior. Think about the stock market. We buy stock, we sell stock, we look at different uh, options. All of that information is mined today to make sense, to give us a better service, to be more efficient, to know which merchandise to offer and promote, etc., uh, etc. Et so it's really all around us. How did you come up with the idea for this company? So it really began as five Israeli students out of Tel Aviv, out of college, having this insight can we analyze and mine lots of information in a very, very, very simple way? Until then, until science came about, when you have complex data sets, you need to have an army of IT professionals, people, database experts, IT professionals, big machines, to crunch all the information, which makes it not accessible, not doable, not cost-effective for mere mortals and for day-to-day -day businesses. Right, right. And those five guys found a way to crunch all of this information on a standard PC, like the one you have at home on a slightly bigger one, and give you value out of it without spending months and months of IT hell to go through. So who are the customers? Is this big businesses or can it be somebody like myself? So it's really for businesses large and small. Okay. We have the largest you can imagine, Nasdaq, GE, Lockheed Martin, NASA, Target, all the way up, wow. all the way down to small businesses with 10, 20 employees, startups in California, in Israel. What's amazing is a small business today you know, a hotel, right, can have more information today than the NSA had 30 years ago. It's mind-blowing. They actually say that in two days, in two days we produce more information than all of humanity ever produced up until a few years ago. In two days. So there's so much out there that people with tools and that are using those tools can be so more efficient, so more effective, give better service, better value, you know, be, uh, provide more profits to our shareholders that it's almost a sin, a crime, not to take advantage of this information. Absolutely. Now, it kind of reminds me of a company like Sales Predict, Kira Radinsky's idea yeah. to basically use this data to predict you know, future events, and obviously in terms of sales, how businesses can do. With Correct. Ma many, products. many businesses yeah. around this area. Our focus is, one, to give business users, not data scientists, business users, 
very simple ways to get lots of insights quickly. That's what we do. We have today 1,000 clients worldwide, 54 countries, all of technology developed in Tel Aviv, and it's going pretty well. What is the key to your success? How have you garnered all these big clients? So it's really a combination of a very strong product. End of the day, if the product sucks, people will not use it. It right. sounds obvious, but it's not that obvious. It's very right? basic. You yeah. need a great product. But then you need to be able to show value quickly. Because businesses today are flooded with offers for different products. So our product is designed from day one to give you immediate value in a simple way from complex data. If it does what it, we claim it does, we can demonstrate value quickly. We sell to all of these companies on the phone. On the phone. All of these businesses were done over the phone. In 90 minutes, in an hour and a half, we can show value. Go right now to Sysense.com. You can click a button, and in 90 minutes, we'll show you a working system on your information. Live, big information, and give you insights. And when it works with a wow moment, then people start buying it. So what is the future? I mean, where, where are you hoping that this technology is headed? We really believe that there is a space here that is going to grow, because data is only growing up. No one ever told me I have less data today than yesterday. It's only going up. It's becoming more complex. We have more data sources. You mentioned Facebook, Twitter, Salesforce, inventory, finance, right? All around us. More data, more data sources, and business users need to be more competitive, not less competitive. So the direction of the market is very clear. People need more of that. And our goal is to build a market leader, focus on one thing, simplifying complex data for business users. Well, you need somebody to kind of analyze every bit of important data that exists in this kind of mess of information around us. Yeah. And it seems like you guys are on the right track to doing that. So congratulations, and uh, I'm hoping to hear about what happens next. Thank you.